This week on Rugged Expeditions, we're traveling to Anacostia Island for some good old fashioned white tailed deer action. We were lucky to even get in in the airplane. The storm was coming. The sensible thing to do would have probably been to delay the trip, period. That's about the 10th deer we've seen this morning, even in this bad weather. You better learn that the only predator on this island wears orange and don't stand around that close to us. Presented by Lynx Wild Safaris. Exceeding clients' expectations, one adventure at a time. Anacostia Island is located way out at the end of the St. Lawrence Seaway, where, as the locals say, weather begins out there. You've got wind, you've got rain, I'm sure they get the occasional sunny day, but you can tell by the vegetation that nothing gets too tall. Everything is hammered by that wind. We're finally ready to go. We're on the plane, we're heading for Anacosti. The wait is over. The winds lay down a little bit this leading edge of Hurricane Sandy. We've got the whole northeast messed up. Hurricane Sandy is more than 200 miles off the coast. It's category one hurricane. What's being called a superstorm tonight. We were lucky to even get in in the airplane. The storm was coming. Sandy was moving north. The sensible thing to do would have probably been to delay the trip, period. But us not being that sensible, of course we didn't. Hey, okay, bonjour. Je ah, Alan. <laughs> Comment ça bien, va? Bienvenue à l'île à l'île Ah. And uh, well, welcome to the island. Thank you. And to, uh, it's good that we've switched to English because I just used to have yeah. pretty much all of my French. So. <laughs> okay. So uh, we're gonna be able to send you hunting this afternoon. Yeah. Uh, so the guide is ready to, to bring you. So as soon as we're at the camp, we should be at the camp around noon. Great. And uh, you're gonna get ready, and you're gonna be able to go hunting here right away. Okay, we're on Anacostia Island. We've got our first species right in close. Oh, yeah. This is a trophy Anacostia fly, not just a regular mainland fly. This is awesome. They taste different, too, than, than the other flies do. We're on a roll now. Boy, this is nice accommodations. Not exactly roughing it. I got a good stove, full bathroom. Right on, got some bunk beds. Now we're talking. It's great to get back to a hunting lodge situation, meeting new friends, telling stories, really getting that hunting camp camaraderie going. It's nice to get to go to a place too, especially for whitetail hunting, where you get two tags. Okay, I'm really excited because right behind the lodge, there's already a deer standing there. How great is that? This place is covered up with deer. Now, she could be waiting for some scraps from the kitchen, but I don't think so. I think that's a wild deer. Look at that, huh? I'm surprised the body's not as small as I thought it was gonna be. They're dark, too. Cook's not here, so we can sneak around and see what he's up to. Ooh, I see a raisin pie. Got some veggies going. Some kind of soup. Oh, yeah. I'm looking good. I don't think we're gonna lose any weight on this trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, time to go get our duds on and get after our first afternoon of hunting here. <coughs> Still got no rain, conditions are right. Ah, and there's another deer standing in the front yard. Pretty wily.
Something tells me that one's got a name, though. <laughs> Who might not want to, you know? Plus, it's a girl. I mean, you don't shoot girl deer. After settling into his new campground on Anticosti Island, Alan Smith and his guide are getting ready for the morning hunt. However, this area is being threatened by Hurricane Sandy's fierce winds not far off the coast. All right, we've kind of got a little lull this morning on this storm. Hopefully this isn't the eye of the storm, but the wind has laid down a little bit for us. We've got some rain. Hopefully the animals will be up and moving. It's supposed to be windy this afternoon, so we'll keep our fingers crossed that we're gonna be able to stay into this bit of wind that comes in. It's not too strong and has them all laying down. The conditions right now are perfect, so we're hoping that this morning is gonna be our big chance to get at these whitetails here on Anacosti. I really enjoy spot and stock hunting, getting out there, sneaking around, using your best wood skills. Yeah, you bump a lot of deer. You got to wear orange out there, which that's the law. So that's what we do, of course. It makes it really, really fun getting out there and doing it the old fashioned way. This wind has really started to pick up again on us. You can hear it howling here. We got a little sheltered spot here, but these deer are gone in this thick stuff, so we're gonna have to just keep moving through, moving through quietly and trying to glass and where we can and see if we can pick them up before they pick us up. They're here. It's just a matter of getting in on top of them and seeing them before they see us. over there on that hillside. They blend in really well, but they're just out of the wind. You'd think they'd have their boyfriend with them, but it's just on the edge of the rut right now. We're getting close. everything in. You'd think it was six o'clock at night or something. You 
You see something? Okay. Where is it? Go in front, be ready. Go straight, it's down. <laughs> <laughs> Finally! Ha <laughs> ha. Youngster. Seven point room. <laughs> Thank you. One down. Man. Yeah, he's a youngster. He's he's also known as dead. Three and a half year old. Our first buck on Anacosti, so. And a hell of a hunt. Wow, what an animal. Here on the island for over a hundred years and they're kind of evolved into their own type of a white tail. They don't get huge, but they're great eating and looking forward to putting a few back straps on the Barbie. As all of you know, the white tail is one of the cagiest critters out there on earth. The Anacosti white tail, for some reason, we're on a whole new level of cagey. It seemed like every time we get in close, something would spook him. You can see hair where the deer's been in here. Scraping and making his spin. That's a big buck doing that. And this wind, these deer are holding really tight. They don't want to get up, so when they're jumping, it's all at the last minute. We barely get a look at them before they're disappearing this stuff. We're right on the edge of this storm, so it's, it's imperative we get something today. Who knows, tomorrow could be full-blown sandy, cyclone or hurricane, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. The shooter buck. A little too quick for us. I mean, I had a good look at him. I could see him right. Close and perfect. I was, I was right, just going, come on, move. I just need him to turn his head or something. Conditions are a little different today. It's raining, pouring hard. We got this uh, the storm now. There's, it's a little calmer, it's not so windy, but man, it was raining hard last night again and still raining here, so. We're going to head back in and see what we can find. I'm sure these deer are going to be holed up in some of these thickets and we'll go give her hell, see if we can roust them up out of their beds. The smart ones will still be in bed. enjoy spot and stock hunting. It's fun. Yeah, you bump a lot of deer. You gotta wear orange out there, which that's the law, so that's what we do, of course. Compared to some of the other whitetail hunting that I've done, where you're sitting in a stand, maybe you're driving around in a truck, something like that. There's nothing like that going on in Anacosti. Got a spike in the middle of this rainstorm. I'll bet he's really good eating, but he's a little small. At least we're seeing something, so getting out of bed and coming out here and this miserable stuff is worthwhile after all.
small, but he's a nice buck. He's about 75 yards away. This rain and wind is so bad you can barely even see him. It's like a mist of fog is rolling in here. Man, this fog is hosing us. We can't see enough and they're just jumping in front of us. There's hardly any wind now. Now we got this fog. The only thing we're seeing is a back end of deer when they jump. Flagging us as they run off through the fog, but it's gotta lift up. I never thought I'd want the wind to come back, but it was better than this. At some point, it's time to head back to the truck. So the guide said, let's go around, we'll make a big circle, and we'll start working our way back. Well, as luck would have it, as we came over this one little creek bank, lo and behold, there's the biggest deer we saw on the whole trip. So hold still. You got him? <laughs> I guess we got him. So at least a six. <laughs> yes! <laughs> White guys trying to shake hands and high five. <laughs> oh yeah. Anacosti Whitetail. A great trophy. A really good hunt. This is a kind of a hunt that you really like doing where you're out stalking. If you want to go and sit in a stand somewhere and sit over a corn pile or something, this isn't the hunt for you. This is a lot of walking. We started out about 6.30 this morning. It's about four now. We've seen a couple other small bucks. Nothing in this guy's league. This is a decent buck for here. Not a monster, but certainly a, a shooter. And especially a last day shooter. So we're, I'm really excited about this. This is a fantastic trophy. Beautiful addition to the trophy room. A really nice deal. It's nice to be back in Canada. Hunt with all our friends. Great trophy. Hunting whitetails is getting back to basics. It's what we love to do, it's a passion. And what better way to do it than going to a different location like Anacosti Island, get into spot and stock hunt, and spend some time with old friends as well as new friends. One, two, three, go. <coughs> Give me the head. That's it. We go. <laughs> Okay, I'm not feeling very macho right now. 